I am just getting a, <coughs> a cot ready. Oh, well, a bed ready for Molly. So I'm going to take out all of the bits that are in this uh, crib. This was in the cot. This was for somebody else <laughs> who's now left. And so that goes to show you that I've forgotten their name already. So there we go. That was Molly. That's from Auntie. This is for the rabbit. So I'll take it all off for now. Because we're just finding, you know, really what Molly is into. And um, I've got to kind of put in the crib the things that she likes. Right. Okay. She was given this, so we'll definitely keep that. She's. I don't know, she's just in the nursery with all sorts. So what I'm gonna what I think I'm gonna do is put in a variety of things for her <coughs> and see what what she likes. Every one of my little ones loves their blankets. Come here, Mrs. <coughs> <coughs> this is a quite a flat one so that's why I feel like I've put stuff behind it to make it um not that that's way too big I feel like it needs to find another blanket to put behind it or something else anyway I've got plenty of blankets to choose from that's for sure what we could do with is uh one of the thick blankets I think and I'm not going to find any of the thick blankets now am I Frankie, have you got one? Yeah, Frankie's got one behind her. Where's the blue, thick blue one now? Probably down in the hillside, I should think. Oh, I'm getting all the blankets out now and that's irritating. Ah. Ah. Um, this one I think I can put on the floor under the thing. I think this is the one that goes under the floor. But it doesn't go directly on the floor, it just goes under something. That's better. There we go, that's better for her. And then uh, usually they all have a couple of blankets that they can draw on. So they usually have one and then another, they have one each and then they have another blanket that they can, I don't mean draw on as in draw, I mean pull up. If they're cold, you know, if they get cold in the night. So I'll just put a couple of these up. These are nice and cosy, the one, the holy ones, the crocheted ones. <coughs> and the idea is to make a nice cosy bed. That's the idea. That's what I like to do for my littles, make a nice cosy bed. Them. And, you know, it's not as if I can't do that. I have enough blankets for goodness sake. Just filling up the blanket bag. But again, the blankets are easily accessible for the littles. So that um, if they want to get another blanket out, they can easily. But anyway, we'll put this little here there's her thing and I will put some books in for her so she's got some set of books for herself in the night let's do mealtime words and not starting school because she's not doing not into wincy spider at bedtime <laughs> key words for the night I was looking, I was in this, this box just now and I just could have got her out of book then. Oh, what's that little one? Oh, we'll use Spot's first word, son. So we've got mealtime words for her and Spot's first words. 
and um, I will put Roxy Buddy in because she does like Peter Rabbit. And then I bought that big cushion, but I do feel like it's a bit too big for the cots. So the cot is a space saver cot from Amazon. I'll try it and link it at the end. I'm not sure if they still do it, but it's really good because it is um, on wheels that you can then lock. I'm just taking away those toys that I took off and damaging everything else in this in the thing. Don't want to do that now, do we? Oh. Okay, so pop these bunnies back up here. Okay, so I think that that'll do for now, and then. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then she can bring in anything then that she wants to. Where's the the Peter Rabbit stuff? I've got a Peter Rabbit box actually under the pot, so I just pull the pot out. Oh, my Mr. Slinky! Mr. Slinky has gone for a ride. So yeah, the aim is to make a bed cosy. You don't have to have lots of lots of bits and pieces in a bed. What they do need is security. So that's all the babies are looking for is security. For a tiny baby that is nicely wrapped and secure because you know, let's face it, they're not long out of the room. Such so easy to move. And also, even though they are beds are up high, they do go down. Oh no, they're not. Yeah, they go down. They're on the highest level. They've got three more levels they can go down yet. Or two. Can't quite make it out. Might be two levels. Um, yeah, all a baby needs is to feel cozy. So she's got her dolly from her auntie, and she's got a pillow that she can fall down and whatever. And um, she's got another little teddy in here. Then she can bring in here any single thing that she likes. And she is lying next to Timothy. Timothy is a good boy at bedtime. He will, won't disturb her at all. So he's a good boy at bedtime. And then this is Toby up here. And he will not disturb her at all. She might disturb him, actually. So, um... I like them. I, my, I won't get my husband to make another set of bunk beds because I like to have these because you never know who you're going to put in a crib. You know, these cribs are good enough for you could put two in, a two, two babies in together. You could even put the little ones long ways like that if you need to, which you could easily do in here because they would fit in a newborn. Um, length um, width wise so that would be great as well if you needed that but yeah I am I'm quite happy with that she's got her two blankets she's got a nice vintage Winsonette blanket on the bottom nice and warm it's nice and warm in this room anyway we don't even have the heating on but it is warm in here um and you know you wouldn't put a real kid underneath those shelving <laughs> you wouldn't put a real child underneath that shelving would you because they just reach up and get anything but don't forget you know i'm not daft these are dolls so there we go <laughs> these are dolls yes they are even though they you know this is like getting it ready for a real child well as well i don't know it's the th therapy part of me that needs them to feel comfortable needs them to feel safe and that's why they all have their own room so they feel comfortable and safe so let's hope she likes it she's a really good sleeper actually but she has been sleeping with emma jane because we haven't had a bed free and um her and emma jane have loved it together and i think emma jane and miss her actually but um yeah there we go 
Well, aunties, there she is. I think she likes it. Do you like it in there, missus? Hey, do you like it in there? Yeah, <laughs> look at her little smile. Are you going to look after her, Timothy? Hey, are you going to look after her? Yes, it's bedtime. It's bedtime. So I did get those other blankets out, but then I found this much bigger one. Oh, it looks rather, it looks really bright yellow on camera. But it's dark in here, so I've had to turn on the, uh, the I don't know, it's called AI, artificial intelligence, on my phone. So it's in night mode now, apparently, filming in night mode. But you look very happy there. You've got your little girly, haven't you? have got your little baby. Yeah, look at your big smile. And then uh, if she wants another blanket, like I say, she always has, they always have two blankets. Or more, it's up to them really. But um, we'll put them on you and then you can just kick one off. We'll kick them both off if you want to. Okay, <laughs> you look after her then, Timothy. Toby's already asleep up here. But there she is. Say good night, everybody. Good night, precious. Good night. Mama loves you. Good night. <laughs> oh, so cute. Good night, Mr. Timothy. Good night, my gorgeous babies.